you're looking at the first set of pallet forks I ever bought from a tractor. These pallet forks are made by Titan Industries. They're 48 inches long and rated for 1,500 pounds, which is just right for my tractor. Um, I bought them as one of the very first attachments for my tractor when I wasn't sure whether I needed pallet forks very often or not. I wasn't willing to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a quick attach set, even though my bucket is quick attach, and you have seen me on earlier videos use my quick attach pallet forks, which I have since bought. These proved instrumental for me. And for about 150 bucks, they helped me discover that I was going to use pallet forks an awful lot. I've been wanting to shoot this video for a while now because I'm giving these pallet forks to a friend now that I have my quick attach forks. Another reason I'm shooting this video is because of a dialogue I had with GP Outdoors. Now GP uh, has got a channel that I hope many of you know, if you don't, you should. He does a lot of great stuff on his Kubota tractor, a lot of adventures, very similar theme to mine. Uh, he's the friendly Canadian who's my Canadian friend. And he recently got uh, the clamp on pallet forks, which is kind of what prompted me to go ahead and shoot this video because we got in a little dialogue in the comments on his about how to use them. And, and uh, he, he was curious since he was brand new to them. So I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and go ahead and shoot this video so I can go ahead and give these pallet forks to my friend and also answer some of the questions that GP had about them. Now, if you're only an occasional user of pallet forks or you think you will be, uh, making an investment in the clamp-on pallet forks like these is not much of a risk. At about $150 for the Titans anyway, to me it was a bargain. And again, as I said, I found out very quickly just how valuable having pallet forks could be. And it led me on to making the bigger investment in the uh, quick attach pallet forks, which I have loved having. If you have a pin-on bucket on your front-end loader, then these are a great option for you. You can put them on quick, you can take them off quick. Uh, not as quick as a quick attach, mind you, but again, for occasional use, great choice. I keep my pallet forks hanging on lag screws on the wall, just below shoulder height to keep lifting to a minimum. Each one weighs 50 pounds, so being able to hoist them on my shoulders spares my back. I put the adjustable stabilizer bar on and I get it aligned before tightening down the forks. The forks attach the same way my clamp-on trailer receiver does. It's very important to screw the clamps down very tightly. After hand tightening, I use a hammer to tighten them further. Then use a piece of pipe to put the final squeeze on them. Finally, I tighten the bolts that hold the stabilizer bar on. One trade-off with clamp-on pallet forks is you lose some lift capacity because of the distance from where the pallet fork starts and the lift pin, which is where your tractor's rated at its lift capacity. Turns out it's almost 24 inches from the lift pin to where this starts, so I do lose a good bit of lift capacity uh, when using these. Another disadvantage of clamp-on pallet forks compared to quick-attach pallet forks is the visibility when you've got your forks low and you're moving in to try to pick up a pallet or lift under something. The bucket itself is an obstruction of, for your view, whereas most of your quick-attach pallet forks, you can see through the framework to better see the ends of the forks, so that is something to consider. One option I strongly recommend with a clamp on pallet forks is this adjustable stabilizer bar in the middle, which can be adjusted for the width of the forks, but it's very important that it helps keep the forks perpendicular to the edge of the bucket so that they don't shift one way or the other while you're carrying a heavy load. So keep that in mind when you're making a decision on clamp on pallet forks. You should also keep in mind that with clamp on pallet forks, they're adding a lot of stress to your bucket lip. All of the weight, particularly if the pallet forks are close in and narrow in the middle, uh, put a lot of stress on pulling down your bucket, the, the lip of your bucket. So if you're not careful, you could end up with a bucket with a smile on it. 
So there is a way to avoid that, and I'm going to show you that now. Most clamp-on pallet forks are designed to allow the use of chains or straps to go around the bucket for extra support. I use two short sections of towing chain and load binders to protect my bucket lip from bending under heavy loads. It is important to make sure your straps or chains go around just the bucket and no other parts of the front end loader. These Titan pallet forks have a keyhole cut in the bottom to accept a hook or chain link. Other designs may have a hoop or heavy eyelet to hook to. I just hook a chain link in the eyelet and then pull it snug. Then I take a load binder and hook it into the eyelet on the top of the pallet fork and then hook the other end onto the chain. Same song second verse for the other pallet fork. Now for old time's sake I'm going to use the pallet forks to pick up my wood chipper which is strapped on a pallet. Most clamp on pallet forks are made of rectangular steel tubing making them a lot thicker than standard pallet forks. This makes it hard to slide the forks under a pallet especially if you're on uneven ground. Notice that I'm now standing to be able to see where the forks are going. It's challenging to get the forks to go all the way under the pallet without hitting the top or bottom of the pallet. Bear in mind I'm a little out of practice with these pallet forks. The more you use them, the better you'll get at it. It took longer than I'm showing to finally get it lined up. Success. By comparison, here's how it goes using my quick attach pallet forks. I just have to stand briefly to make sure I'm on target. The flat solid steel forks are much easier to maneuver under a pallet and being able to see the fork tips through the frame is a big help. If you're considering buying clamp-on pallet forks, here are some of the pros and cons to keep in mind. Clamp-on pallet forks are ideal if you will only use them occasionally. They're a good choice if you don't have a quick attach bucket. They are inexpensive, especially the Titan brand. I bought mine on Amazon. And they're fairly quick to put on and take off. Now here are some of the disadvantages to consider. You have poor visibility of the forks due to the bucket. The thickness of the forks make it more difficult to position under pallets. Also, clamp-on pallet forks can bend your bucket under heavy loads without straps or chains to support it. If you're enjoying the videos I make, do me a favor and hit the like button or comment below, or but, uh, but especially subscribe, because I'm trying to grow the channel, so I would very much appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button. And you can also click that little bell and get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching.